Yep. Well, you know it's going to be bad. Anytime somebody starts off by saying, well, it's bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the age 40 is real. To all my men, women out there that are 40 years old and above, uh, it's not a game. Respect that age. Respect that age. Or that age will will make you respect it. I was just forced to respect it. Um, this is just a public service announcement because I know people may see me out. And I don't want you to be alarmed, but I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. I'm in a wheelchair. Why? Well, because I tried to jump out there and do some young stuff. Try to go out there and do some young uh, some young man stuff, and I was told to sit my ass down. Shouts out to Stephen Wiley. I'm going to go and put this story out there before you do. Me and Stephen got into a little debate. This debate was based off of who was faster. Those that know me know I'm pretty fast. Steven said, Kev, ain't no way you're going to beat me. Steven is an ex-NFL uh, running back, played for the New England Patriots. Very good guy. I said, Steve, you can bet it. He said, bet. I said, bet. We get out there. We go run the 40-yard dash. 40-yard dash. Guys, I blew all my shit. Tore my lower abdomen. I, my abductors are torn. I don't even know what that is, but I tore them. I tore those two. I can't walk. Sit my ass down. This is 44. I tell you what you just lost, son. You just lost every opportunity of me going to racing you anytime soon. It's over. Kenneth, it's over. Sit down. What are we competing for at this age? Why are we like what are, what am I doing? Why did I even race? Stupidest shit ever. Now I can't walk. Cause I'm somewhere trying to get the title of the fastest nigga at the barbecue. What was I thinking, son? God, got to be the stupidest man alive. It is what it is, man. This is life. Uh, you know, I'm out. I got about six to eight. One of the greatest comedian businessmen of all time is gonna be down for at least six to eight weeks. You heard Kevin Hart, he said he tore a few different things including his abdomen. He said some things I ain't never heard of. What else Kev said? He said he tore his abductors as well because he was trying to race a former NFL player. And I'm pretty confident not only did Kevin Hart lose the race, but uh, he lost the war with his body. And Kev looks great, by the way. Let's just be clear about that. He's in phenomenal shape. But uh, father time waits for no man. And let me just put this out there, ladies and gentlemen. For those who don't know, I am 29. I'm in the last year of my 20s. I am holding on by the thins of hair. By the way, I still got a really good hairline, but I'm still in my 20s for now. And Kev just made me feel better about things. You know, Kev's a rich guy. Like I said, he looks great. But he just made me feel better about entering my 30s because he's in his 40s. Look, and look, you want to grow old, but Kev just made me feel better about going into my 30s. Like, yo, I can still get out there and race anybody without tearing any, any damn thing. And I'm not in the shape that Kevin Hart is in by a country mile. By the way, my dad used to race me and my partners in his 50s, and he never tore anything, I don't think. I'm, that's actually shocking that Kevin Hart tore stuff and with as great a shape as he's in y'all let me know what y'all think about kevin hart's latest admission he says he's in a wheelchair for the time being by the way speaking of kev hart i will say this because he's being forced to sit down a guy that does as much as he does he's probably gonna come up with some of the greatest ideas ever for the future of his entities and businesses with him not being able to move around the way that he's used to moving around <laughs> time love and support is what your boy would never take for granted What's the dumbest injury you've ever had in life? Kev, I'm sure this is going to be atop his list. He tore some muscles, the abdomen, his abductors, all because he was trying to race a former NFL player. I'm out. What's up, everybody? It's yours truly. I'm the one and only. I'm your boy, Ferro. If you are enjoying the great quality content, make sure you put yourself in position to get more of your boy. For music news, updates, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube, and it's Mr. Teleferro. For basketball news, highlights, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at Hoops Ferro. It's free 99 to you. It truly means the world to me. Let's run these numbers up. I appreciate the time, love, and support.